The news of the murder of the multi-millionaire podiatrist in Western New Providence on Tuesday went viral quickly. And as police continue their investigation, they are narrowing the list of persons of interest. Vaughn Aubrey tonight has more on this developing story and the international attention it has attracted. One day after the murder of Dr. Philip Vasili, police have in custody his wife Donna for questioning. The wife, who is also the mother of the couple's two adult children, Lauren and Aaron, is the project manager of the family's multi-million dollar enterprise, Vasili International, which reportedly mushroomed as a result of Dr. Vasili's podiatry business. The Australians, who now call the Bahamas home, own two homes in the upscale gated community, as well as an office at Old Fort Bay. The multi-millionaire podiatrist was found stabbed to death in his mansion at Old Fort Bay on Tuesday. It is reported that he was stabbed seven times about the body. Police say when found lying on the floor of the dining room at 8 a.m. Tuesday, Dr. Vasily appeared to have been dead for more than seven hours. The foot doctor had three practices in Sydney, Australia and started an orthopedic brand of footwear, now popular and available in the Bahamas, the U.S. and 23 other countries. He has reportedly treated more than 50,000 people. Since his death, Australian media have also profiled the doctor and his family. Angela Cox of Seven Network Australia is in the capital covering the story. When the story broke yesterday, this covered all of our national breakfast television shows. This was big breaking news. Um, not that he's a celebrity in Australia, but certainly a prominent podiatrist, certainly in Sydney, where uh, obviously a lot of Australians live. The fact that he'd had three clinics there, he was well known. But I think Australians are just really intrigued by this guy. He is living in this beautiful island paradise. He seems to have everything that money could buy. He has two homes, what seems to be a lovely family, wife and two adult children, and then to be killed like this in this fashion then we got the developments about his wife potentially being in custody and under arrest I think there's just a lot of intrigue about what happened. The multimillionaire has donated to charities abroad and here at home including junior regattas and other Bahamian organizations. I am Vaughan Albury, ZNS Network News.